KTM News, Kevin Benavides takes overall Abu Dhabi Stage 2 2022 Desert Challenge Rally Lead. Stage 2 of the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge covered a total distance of 453 km and made up the first leg of the event's marathon stage. A 316 km time special, raced against the clock, tested the riders with another mix of dunes and faster, sandy tracks. Arriving back at the bivouac at Hamim, riders had to carry out any required maintenance themselves, with no outside assistance permitted. Please subscribe our channel, thank you for your support. Following his third place result on the rally's opening stage, Kevin Benavides was one of the first riders to enter today's special. Chasing down the riders ahead, Kevin came across a fallen competitor who needed medical assistance. After waiting for the helicopter to arrive, the 2021 Dakar champion continued with the stage, pushing hard to make up time. Arriving at the finish, Benavides was awarded the time loss due to the incident, which ultimately placed him third for the stage and moved the KTM 450 rally rider into the provisional rally lead. Kevin Benavides said, Today was a good stage for me and I'm happy with the final result. It was a tough stage both physically and mentally too, because at about kilometer 50 I stopped to help Mike Doherty after he had crashed. I called the helicopter and waited for just over 20 minutes before setting off again. It's always tough to regain your focus after something like that, but I was able to keep up a good pace and complete the stage safely. It feels good to be leading the race, so I'll try and keep this momentum going tomorrow. Stage 2 was a mixed day for Toby Price. Showing good speed in the first half of the special, the Australian moved up into the top 5 on time. A number of crashes in the latter kilometers of the stage slowed his progress and also resulted in a burned arm after falling under the bike. Nevertheless, the two-time Dakar winner is in good spirits and keen to continue pushing for the remaining three days of racing. Toby Price said, Day 2 is done now and it went okay. I was making good progress up to around kilometer 140 where I had a bit of a crash. The bike landed on top of me and burned the inside of my arm, which isn't great, but other than that it was a pretty solid day. It's definitely a tough rally, the heat doesn't help, but I'm pleased with how things are going and I'm ready for day 3. After catching and passing the one rider who set off ahead of him this morning, Matthias Walkner soon found himself opening today's long, grueling 316km special. Focusing on both the demanding terrain and his navigation, Walkner completed the stage just over 12 minutes behind the eventual stage winner. The result places the reigning world champion in 10th overall, but he will enjoy a strong start position for Tuesday's Stage 3 where he hopes to make up time on his rivals ahead. Matthias Walkner said, The second day went well for me, but it was a long and very challenging stage. I caught the leader at around kilometer 15, and after that opened the rest of the special. I think I did a good job navigating and making my way through the dunes, but it was really demanding to be at maximum focus for close to four and a half hours, especially in the heat. I'm pleased with how things are going, no problems so far, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Stage 3 of the 2022 Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge, the second leg of the event's marathon stage, will see riders complete a total distance of 290 km in a looped route from the bivouac at Hamim. The 255 km of time special will be raced against the clock. Provisional results, Stage 2 Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge 2022 are available in the description. Thank you for watching us. Please subscribe our OKR Moto YouTube channel. OKR Moto is an KTM authorized dealer and service since year 2003 based in Slovakia. For more KTM related news with international subtitles please check our playlist. Link is available in the description of this video. Thank you for your support and subscription.